Welcome to SolarWorks for Illinois. I'm Tim Montague, your host. Today is a special edition of SolarWorks for Illinois. We are going to give you a brief update on what's going on with the solar incentives in Illinois. As you may or may not know, we have something called the Adjustable Block Program, which is a cash incentive for solar renewable energy credit. It funds what's called SRECs, Solar Renewable Energy Credits. Now, we have what's called the block program, otherwise known as Illinois Shines, just to muddy the water a little bit, but you can go to the IllinoisABP.com website, and I'm going to go to that website here in just a second. But what we really want to do here tonight is if you are an owner, we want to give you some sound advice about how to manage the situation because we got some news last week and it wasn't the most promising news, but here's the deal block four of the first four blocks of RECs for large distributed generation projects, that's projects over 25 kW. A residential project is maybe seven to eight kW. So commercial is in the 25 and up. So this is the commercial solar market. That block is now full across the state, meaning for Ameren and ComEd and MidAmerican, there are no more RECs available at the moment. What should you do? Well, guess what? you have no choice but to plow forward. If you're seriously considering solar in the next five years, the incentives are no sweeter than right now. And while there, there is a wait list for RECs, right? So if you put a project into the queue today, it goes on a wait list, waiting for the day that block five is going to open. From block four to block five is a 4% decline in the REC value. So it's not a huge difference from block four to block five. We just don't know when block five is going to open. I have a few graphics here to simplify this explanation. Understanding solar incentives, aka SRECs in Illinois, for project owners in particular, and the news is that block four is closed. What now? Here's a graphic showing the adjustable block program in a tabular format. You can go to the IllinoisABP.com website, aka Illinois Shines. The ABP website has these details that you're looking for. The program is broken into groups A and B. Okay, A is for Ameren and Mid American, that's the central and southern part of the state. And group B is for ComEd. And then there's three categories small DG, which is residential and small commercial, large DG, over 25 kW, and community solar. The large DG, DG goes up to two megawatts AC and community solar also goes up to two megawatts AC. So this is what we call the distributed generation program in Illinois. There are 666, okay, 666 megawatts that were released into the market back in May of 2019. Everybody's been busy getting their projects through permitting, getting them recs, et cetera. Now, these four blocks of 666 megawatts of solar have now closed. I'm just going to tell you a little more about all these numbers here just real quick. So you see here, I'm just going to focus on ComEd territory, Northern Illinois. That's where my office is in the Chicagoland area. There were 52 megawatts of large DG in blocks one, two, and then block three was a little smaller. Block four was given some discretionary recs. All said there's 150 megawatts of solar in ComEd for large DG in blocks one through four. They're now saying at the, at the adjustable block program that those blocks are full. You have to wait until block five opens. Now, what we don't know, unfortunately, because, and I'm gonna explain this, because the REC funding is spending out a little faster than it's accumulating, we don't know exactly when block five is going to open, but here's what we know. So let's say this is a sine curve just to make it simple, but down here was 2017 when the program opened uh, and it started accumulating RECs, okay? And every year, $200 million is pouring into the market, in the Illinois market. It's paid for by you and I. If you're an Ameren, ComEd, or MidAmerican, there's a small fee on your power bill for the 25% by 2025 renewable program, 
let's remember Illinois has a renewable portfolio standard of 25% by 2025. That's what this 666 megawatts is helping us achieve. Okay. 25% clean power by 2025. We're getting $200 million in RECs per year into the market. One REC is one megawatt hour of electricity, which is 1000 kWh. I have that down here. RECs pay back three times faster than they accumulate. So while we're getting $200 million into the market every year, we're spending more than that in the first couple of years. So the wave of money, think of this as a wave of money coming into the market, is going to dry up now unless we get additional legislation. And that's where we need to go to the website. Well, first, let's go to the email from the Path to 100 folks. We're grateful for the Path to 100. This is a fix to the RPS. If you're a voter in Illinois, you want to go to pathto100.org and get on the email list and then click on the links to send a letter to your legislators to support this bill. Because what this does is it provides additional rec funding for the commercial and residential and community solar markets in Illinois. While we're supposed to get a 25% RPS by 2025, that $200 million is inadequate. It's only going to get us to 10 to 17% of an RPS. And so we really need additional money. We also, of course, need a higher RPS goal like so many states are doing. California, New Mexico, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey. There are many, many states now setting 100% renewable portfolio goals. And we need to get on that train. The path to 100 is your short-term path to that train. So check it out. This is their newsletter from today, Commercial Solar Hits Capacity, talking about, well, what happens now that we have, quote unquote, the funding cliff? And the answer is, we don't know. The answer is, we're in a waiting period. But if you want to do solar in the next five years, the incentives are no sweeter today than they will be in the next five years. And yes, if you apply for Rex today, you're going to be put on a wait list and you won't know exactly when those cash checks will start coming once you energize your system, but the checks will come and you will get in the program. If you do nothing but wait, then that is a ticket for disaster. Here's some examples of what this is doing. Big Hollow Elementary District 38 in Ingleside, that's on the south side of Chicago. 1.8 million savings over 20 years. Who doesn't want their school district to save $1.8 million? Huntley School District, again up north, a big school district in Lake County, $4 million in savings over the next 20 years. Wonderful for kids, wonderful for the community. Let's grow solar. Lincoln College, $2 million in savings over 20 years. Granite City School District, $1.5 million savings over 20 years. Silva's Police Department, $167,000 in savings over 20 years. And my favorite here, Troy Community School District in Plainfield. That's near and dear to my heart because we built that project here at Continental Energy Solutions. 3.8 million savings in 20 years. And let's not forget West Aurora School District 129, 1.3 million savings over 20 years. Solar means savings for those hosts. Either you buy or you do a PPA, a power purchase agreement. So you don't even have to buy a solar project, but you're going to save money if you install solar on your facility. So get to the path to 100. Got a couple more slides here. We're closing out. What to do if you really want to go solar in Illinois and it's 2020 and you realize that yes, blocks one through four are closed, but you want to drive forward in the next five years, the time is now because the wait list is going to start gathering. And if you don't get on that wait list, you will never get Rex. So find an installer, do an early stage design and engineering. You don't have to buy the full project to do that. You could do 10% uh, down and achieve that. Then you're going to file for interconnection with the utility. All solar projects have to be interconnected with the utility and they have to apply for that. And that's a process. That process could take three to six months. So don't postpone. And then once you have interconnection, you can go into the IPA with your REC application. That's your renewable energy credit application to the Illinois Power Agency. All of the installers in Illinois know how to do this and can help you. Either you will be your own approved vendor or you will work with an approved vendor like SREC Trade or Carbon Solutions. We have several good 
resources. And of course, there's the Illinois Solar Energy Association, illinoissolar.org. So just check that out. You can find a huge list of installers, both residential and commercial at that website. If you want to go solar, you cannot wait. That's the good news. Build or wait. Now, once you energize your system or are primed to energize your system, you don't have to wait. You can actually energize today. You just won't realize the rec payments. These are cash incentives that are equivalent to 40% of the project's value. With that, just a couple of quick announcements. Solar Plus Battery Storage is this month's podcast. I'm so thrilled to have Mark Thrum of Intelligent Generation on the show. We're going to break down how solar plus battery storage works for Midwest manufacturers, both in PJM and in MISO. So if you work in the Midwest, if you work in PJM, you want to check this out. Solar and storage is all the rage because storage is the holy grail for all renewables. Then in April, we have Simmons Knife and Saw. Simmons Knife Goes Solar, a case study with Colin Murphy, owner and operator of Simmons Knife and my all-time favorite customer. Great project. They did a complete re-roof. It's a fully attached five-degree system. Check it out at cesnrg.com forward slash podcast. On May 19th, yes, we are having the Illinois Solar Program update with the director of the IPA, None other than Anthony Starr is coming on the show in May. So looking forward to having our colleague on the show who can tell you how things have gone and where we're going from here. I'm Tim Montague. Let's go solar.